So what we talked about in a previous video is that in thermodynamics, when you're calculating delta G, you have a standard state de uh, designated as the the delta G naught. So this is delta G standard state, and when that's calculated, uh, pH concentrate the concentration of hydrogen whenever it's consumed or produced is is equal to one molar, and so. In biochemistry, it's almost never, it is never going to be one molar for the concentration. So uh, the standard state has been redefined for biochemistry, and that standard state is designated as delta G not, not prime, with this little uh, apostrophe or a prime sign by the not or the zero. And the standard state for hydrogen in biochemistry is equal to 10 to the minus 7th molar, which is a pH that's equal to 7, neutral pH. Now, if you've taken a physiology class, you know that the pH of the body is approximately 7.35 to 7.45, and it, it, if it goes below 7.35, it's con your, your body is considered an acidosis. If it goes above 7.45, it's considered an alkalosis. However, uh, in biochemistry, uh, 7 is still considered the, the pH of standard state, and one of the reasons for that is because humans are not the only, uh, the only subjects of biochemistry. Every living organism um, produces uh, chemical reactions that are considered biochemistry. And because most organisms are roughly around a neutral pH, there are ex several exceptions, like um, there are acidophiles and such, but most organisms are right around a pH of 7, and so for biochemistry, they focus on that pH. So d delta G standard state is equal to negative RT times the natural log of KEQ, and this is supposed to be a capital KEQ, and uh, so what is KEQ? Again, remember if we have a reaction that's A plus B yields C plus D, then KEQ is, is the concentration of C times the concentration of D divided by the concentration of A times the concentration of B. That's supposed to be a B. Whenever this comes to equilibrium, when it's not at equilibrium, it's, it's called Q. When it's at equilibrium, it's called K, KEQ. So if you consider a reaction where hydrogen is being, uh, being produced, so hi let's, let's add hydrogen up here to our product. So it's products divided by reactants. So hydrogen is one of our products in this reaction. Well, in this, we, we know that the, the concentration, uh, let's say if our concentration has a really, really low pH, so it has our solution already has a whole bunch of hydrogen present, it's going to be harder to drive products to reactants because of uh, Le Chatelier's principle. So Le, Le Chatelier said that if I, if I have a reaction, if I can take away some of these or even all of these products as the reaction is going forward, then I can drive the reaction from, from reactants to products. The reason is because KEQ doesn't change. So if I have uh, if I, in essence, can take away all of C and D and leave only H behind, then I have to be able to produce enough H so that the re ratio of H over A times B is equal to KEQ, which means you have to produce a lot more hydrogen than if you had been producing C and D and not taking it away. Well, the same principle applies if you have hydrogen times C times D if you can take away hydrogen or if you let's just say if you have a whole bunch of hydrogen then the, the concentration of hydrogen in your solution is already high so it's going to prevent you from from moving the reaction forward very far um, on the so on the other hand if you take away hydrogen so if hydrogen's at one molar and you can reduce that to 10 to the negative 7th molar, then you've already taken away a whole bunch of hydrogen, so it helps drive the reaction forward. So in reactions where hydrogen is being produced as a product, biochemical standard state, delta G naught prime, is going to be uh, much, much more favorable than the standard state 
And so by saying more favorable, I'm actually saying it's less than because a negative number is more favorable in driving products, driving reactants to products. So it's going to be less than delta G naught. Let's try, try to take a look at this mathematically. So if I say that delta G, we'll just say delta G, we won't dis determine whether it's biochemical, what it is. We'll say that delta G is equal to negative RT. Let's say delta G, we'll just say standard state, is equal to negative RT natural log of KEQ. And KEQ, we said, was hydrogen times C times D over A times B, right? And so whenever you have something multiplied inside of a natural log, so the natural log, let's say the natural log of X times 5 is, is equal to, it's equal to the natural log of X plus the natural log of 5. And when you divide in a natural log, so the natural log of X, X over 5, is equal to the natural log of x minus the natural log of 5. And so this is uh, back to basic algebra. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use that to break out this hydrogen up here. So we can say that, that del delta G, biochemical standard state, is equal to, and we'll say that it's equal to um, delta G standard state, but we have, to, we have to make one exception because if we're if we're adding, so if delta G standard state is being modified by hydrogen, um, and we, so if we were to add in the natural log of hydrogen and break this out, multiplying it by RT, we would have to remember that we have to add in RT times the natural log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And this is if hydrogen is being produced. So produced. And if it's being consumed, then delta G standard state is equal to, for biochemistry, is equal to delta G standard state minus RT, natural log of hydrogen, if it's being consumed. Now we're going to modify this by one other thing, uh, but that modification will be, uh, will be apparent in a second. So we have two equations. <clears throat> Those equations, delta G biochemistry standard state is equal to delta G standard state plus RT natural log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And we're going to modify this here in a second. We're going to add one more thing to it. And we have delta G biochemical standard state is equal to delta G standard state minus RT natural log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Uh, so the one thing we're going to do to modify this, now when we talk about the hydrogen ion concentration, hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to the minus 7th. But in both of these cases, the hydrogen ion concentration is being altered because hydrogen is either being produced or consumed. And so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both of these by N. So this is N. So this is when it's produced and this is when it's consumed. So what is N? N is the, is the coefficient for hydrogen in a balanced equation. So let's say hydrogen is produced. We have A plus B yields C plus D plus hydrogen. In this case, the coefficient is 1. We could have another situation where A plus B yields C plus D plus 2H. In this situation, the coefficient for hydrogen is 2, and a 2 would go in the, or not here, because that's consumed, this is being produced, the 2 would go in the in spot right there. In this case, the 1 would go in the ends position. So we're saying we know what the hydrogen ion concentration is originally, it's 10 to the minus 7th, and then we're altering it, so we're going to multiply that natural log by n. And then the hydrogen is being consumed, so hydrogen plus A plus B 
yield C plus D. In this case, hydrogen is consumed, and we have a coefficient of 1, and the 1 would go into this equation. So ultimately, we end up with, with just two simple equations for the delta G standard state of biochemistry. It's equal to delta G standard state plus RT natural log of H times N, or it's equal to delta G standard uh, biochemical standard state is equal to delta G standard state minus RT natural log of H times N, and this is when it's being produced, and this is when it's being consumed. Now think about really quick what's going to happen to the sign. Natural log of hydrogen, natural log of a, a number less than 1, so hydrogen 10 to the negative 7th, it's way less than 1, the natural log of a number less than 1 is going to be a negative number. And so this is going to ultimately turn negative whenever you multi multiply it by the natural log of hydrogen. And this is going to ultimately turn positive. And it makes sense based on Le Chatelier's principle, because if, if hydrogen is already in a high concentration, then when you produce more hydrogen, it, it, you have hydrogen, let's say, C plus C times D over A times B. When you make more hydrogen, in a high concentration, it's going to be harder, and so whenever you produce hydrogen at delta G zero, it's not going to it's not going to occur as readily. So uh, taking some of this away causes the biochemical standard state to be a much more negative number. So by adding RT natural log of H, you're actually reducing this number. And the same goes for, for the other situation. If you don't have very much hydrogen to add to a reaction, then H times A times B over C times D, this isn't, this is, this isn't uh, the limiting source of this reaction, and so it's going to be much harder to make products. And so whenever you add, you're going to have a much more positive uh, delta G biochemical standard state than a delta G standard state. Now let me add one caveat. The only time delta G biochemical standard state is different than delta G standard state, delta G standard state, let's go ahead and write out the equation, times the natural log of H. The only time it's different than delta G standard state is when hydrogen is being produced or consumed. <clears throat> if hydrogen is not in the reaction quotient, then delta G standard state doesn't change, or the, then the hydrogen ion concentration doesn't change. So let's assume you have the reaction A plus B yields C plus D. In this case, no hydrogen is consumed or produced. Then delta G standard state, is e uh, biochemical standard state, is equal to delta G standard state. And that's true with, with one caveat. So we know that delta G standard state is equal to negative RT times the natural log of KEQ. Now the only, time, the only, the only thing that this adds to this equation is we have, uh, in biochemical standard state, we have a standard for the temperature. And the temperature is equal to 25 degrees Celsius or... 298.15 Kelvin. So when no, whenever there is no hydrogen being produced or consumed, we say that delta G standard state is equal to negative RT times the natural log of KEQ, where, where the T is equal to 298.15, or you could just say 298 for simplicity. No, I know I thought immediately when I saw this, I thought, well, body temperature is roughly 37 degrees Celsius, so why is the biochemistry, why is it 25 degrees Celsius? Uh, so why is, why is T not 310.15 is basically what I thought immediately. And the answer to that is biochemistry doesn't just pertain to humans. I was being anthropocentric. I was thinking of only 
Anthropocentric means I was thinking basically in terms of humankind when there are so many other uh, biochemical uh, areas, there's so many other cells for biochemistry to take place. It could take place in a sea anemone, it could take place in a bacteria that's, that's hanging out on, on, a, uh, on a thermophilic, uh, on a uh, thermal vent. And so we just define the standard state as 25 degrees because that's basically room temperature and so we test most biochemical reactions at room temperature. So that, that's the simplicity of everything. Uh, the biochemical standard state is equal to delta G at 298 Kelvin when no hydrogen is produced or consumed. Otherwise, delta G standard state is equal to delta G standard state uh, plus RT natural log of the hydrogen ion concentration at 298 Kelvin when hydrogen is produced and delta G biochemical standard state is equal to delta G minus RT natural log of H at 298 degrees Kel or 298 Kelvin when hydrogen is consumed. So three equations, pretty simple. And that's it.